Let me give it to you straight. It really pisses me off whenever I hear stories about kendo practitioners, beginning kendo practitioners who leave way too early as soon as they encounter such a senpai or a sensei who use intimidation and pull rank on them. Let me offer you three things on how to deal with such encounters. All right. Number one, unintimidate yourself by giving him a moderately strong eye contact. Let me repeat that. Unintimidate yourself by giving him a moderately strong eye contact. Why moderately? Because if you do it extremely strong also, it will come across as you becoming the bad guy or the dick. You don't really want that, but instead give it subtle volume, making it clear that you are not there to cause a scene or anything. But if done correctly, they usually they will make assumptions that you are doing something better outside of that kendo dojo and make sure that you're actually doing it though like if you excel at something like going to the gym making money making youtube videos etc etc and people will notice that and what ends up being happened is that they will find somebody else to intimidate or treat you cordially eventually and make a new friend out of you isn't such a good thing so so far if you happen to like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already all right yeah. number two make the other person feel important i repeat make the other person feel important thank you mr dale carnegie for bringing this advice up it's really very useful at a time like this because here is the paradox the person who pulls rank already looks important he might be the head or a lieutenant or something like that but one thing that you need to be sure of is that he is not aware of how important he is that's why like a peacock he needs to spread his feathers so that you can notice it actually you've got some leverage here because he doesn't know how great he is he needs to pester everyone how great he is to the point of annoyance all right because of that he needs to he actually needs to spend energy to goad others into giving him the attention and the validation that he or he may not deserve it but like it or not it happens that is why one thing that i can offer you is that you want to offer him an empty validation if you feel it for for these people it acts like giving sugar to, a, to someone to the point of diabetic coma give them gobs of praise words of affirmation reinforcement um, things that uplift not just for yourself but to everybody else all right it works wonders because it, it shows that you don't intend to hurt anyone come on who, the, who gets hurt by dishing out compliments well so far i think the world will become a better place if you dish out compliments every now and then so i don't think it's a bad thing all right so remember that and making the world a better place all right yeah number three make it clear that you are in the dojo to learn new things okay 
make it clear that you are in the dojo to learn new things. You are not there for dick measuring, any other forms of comparison or any other BS like that, except that you are there because you acknowledge the fact that the only person that you are competing with is yourself. You versus you. As cliche as it sounds, but it's very real, alright? The purpose of your kendo practice is to work on your current limitations and your weak points and that itself is not really bad at all and make sure that you really do it though because the moment the people sense that you are just another person out there for external validation so people will even think twice <laughs> or why are you there in the first place maybe you're just another peacock or whatnot all right all this and more these may be very small actions from the get-go but as soon as they become habits um, I do hope that your stay in your favorite dojo becomes more meaningful and with that being said let me give you the recap number one you unintimidate yourself by moderately strong eye contact number two you make the other person feel important and number three you make it clear that you're going to the dojo because you want to learn new other things all right that's it my friends and if you like what you just saw don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and especially if you click the notification bell you'll be the very first person to know that I have uploaded another content that could possibly help you in the future. Yeah. This is Regular Slasher signing off. Thank you. Much love. And domo arigato gozaimashita. Yeah. And... Kah!